The following, following video is an introduction to OP20 Edit 2. These uh, program, programs allow you to modify and create new screens on your operate uh, panel. And today we're going to see a brief overview of what this uh, pro program can, can do. First, the uh, OP20, you can the, the edit to, you can down, download it for free. You can just search uh, Google and download the, uh, the, the, the software. Uh, one thing to notice is that if you're using uh, uh, the model, say in, the, in my case, I'm using B, the model, the, uh, it's a version B8. So in that case, what you should do is um, download the edit to edit to uh, comparable to with with that uh, version. So I think I think the most recent version now is the uh, B nine uh, B nine. So if you're running B, if you run B nine, you won't be able to download uh, any software the the program to your operating panel. So download the version eight for 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 that so i'm i and once again you can just uh, google uh, op20 uh, version 8 so that's what i'm running right now so to check what version are you running right now just go to help about and you will find the version here uh, b8 okay so let's start by making a, a new uh, program so first we went to help. Now we select the, the um, operate panel uh, model, which is this one in my case. And then the PLC that you will be controlling. So I'll be controlling uh, Delta DVPs and uh, PLCs. And the communication service uh, settings, I'll keep the default ones. Okay. So this area here is the the area of your uh, operate panel uh, screen. So this on on the left, these are the different sc screens that you have in, in your in, in, in the, that the different screens that that you can create. So f and on the left and right side are the different different tools that you can use to to program your your operate uh, panel. So you have uh, labels like text, you have a uh, text, dynamic text, text that can change depending on uh, the value of a register. You have lamps or indicator. You can even uh, insert uh, pictures, I mean the, the black and white pictures. And you can see the value of a register or you can uh, change the value of a register. Also, you can uh, draw a bar, and uh, that will go, that will fill depending on, on the value of a register. And you can also assign a certain function uh, to a uh, to a key. So you can, for instance, you can use use the uh, right key to go to a uh, to the to go to the next screen, or you can assign a key or, or to any of the uh, numeric uh, keypad to go to a certain screen or, or do something something else. You have also graphs that you can, trends or graphs that, that you can uh, use to, uh, to monitor the levels. Okay, so first and let's start by doing uh, an, a new screen. So uh, on the, the screen uh, area, and uh, you have here the screen number uh, and then the description. So for instance, for the first uh, screen with the description, we're going to set a, write it, make a note that that's the, the home screen. And then this, let's make a new screen. So just go to new, the, the screen number. The, the next one it will be two. And the description, let's make it inputs. Make another screen, screen number two, and let's put it outputs.
outputs and finally let's make the last one make it help very good so for the home screen let's make it you we said that we can uh, draw labels uh, text so you just click here drag it wherever you want the text or and then you can move it and place it whatever you want and here is where you type your message hello okay so let's uh, put a, a label to to these uh, screens here so for this screen we're going we're going to write it inputs on the next one outputs and finally this one let's make it help very good the home screen okay so we said that we can uh, uh, draw uh, text also we have dynamic text so this text will change uh, depending on the value of our register so let's uh, say that we're going to connect to plc station number zero and the regis register id will be d zero so depending of the value of d zero the this uh, mess message uh, will change so if the value is zero then uh, this uh, message is going is going to is going to be the one that's going to going to appear so let's change that let's change value zero zero so in case is uh, the value is one let's change it the value is one like that so if the value is zero then the the message will be this one zero if it is one then value is one if it is two the value is two very good now let's um oh okay so the go let's go to the next one lamp or an indicator so you just draw the the lamp and you can place it place it whatever you want and you can say that, okay so let's check the coil in plc station number zero m0 if m0 is equal to one the lamp will be activated you can change it the lamp to be a circle or a square and you can either put it as a positive or negative for instance instance right now if, if it is uh, active uh, the lamp will go black if, it, if we change it to neg negative when the lamp is active the lamp is going to go to white so let's keep it positive so whenever m0 is, is positive the lamp will, will be activated and it will be shown as black okay and you can also insert uh, pictures so just click here and search for um, bitmap bitmap files and you you have you just need to to convert the the images to black and white so that's what i did here with this logo and just uh, change it to black and white and the resolution i kept it to uh, pretty small uh, i'm not sure which are the the maximum that you can use but, but i made uh, this one to be 59 to by 59 and I bet you can do it uh, 60 by 60 okay. and just place it wherever you you want so right now I'm going to do to, to delete it but you can see that uh, how it's going to be shown once you place it on, on your screen and uh, this this way it's going to be shown so you don't have a lot of resolution but uh, this is kind of uh, useful if you're doing like um, a screensaver for instance, the, this operate panel has the option that if you don't 
press any key for two minutes, three minutes, minutes more or less, then the screen is going to go to the, this uh, screen saver. And eventually go, will go off, but the screen saver is going to appear for a while. So then you can put that your logo, your company name, and yeah, and you can use that just for for branding. So right now I'm going to to delete that. And as I said, you can do bars. So let's draw a bar here, and let's assign a, a register. So PLC, PLC station number zero. The register will be D zero. And the display, the full value, let's make it uh, to be a thousand. And the zero value will be zero. And the direction, you can put it up, down, right, or left. So and let's make it up and put it away to the right side of the screen. Very good. So now let's do the register. So just click here, register, place the the the, the value where you want it, and then you assign a, a PLC station number. So let's once again let's go to zero. The register ID, let's keep it to zero. So this label, this text, is going to show the current value of, of D zero in PLC station number zero. But now let's say that we want to modify uh, this value. For because uh, right now this value is just going to 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 display the the current value but let's say it said that you we want to modify the the value of d0 in that case what we can do is just click this box the set box uh, we select it and now we can edit the, the value and we're going to see see how that works in in a little bit uh, in a little while very good and then you can assign function keys. So for instance, you just click on here in the uh, function key button, and then you can assign a, a function key to any of the keys of your operator panel. For instance, if you press the left button, then you can uh, assign uh, a function. For instance, you can say set a coil, and you can specify the PLC station number and the coil. Or you can go to jump to a different screen or you can set the data. So let's keep it uh, to to jump screen, screen jump. And we when we press the left key, and let, actually let's change it to the right key. When we click the right key, we're going to jump to screen number uh, two screen number two which is the inputs okay and uh, let's say that let, let's put another one but in this case when we press the alarm the alarm key then we're going to screen jump to the screen number four which is the help. And this is just a, a demo of how to jump from screen to screen. And the final bottom is the train. So it's pretty much a graphic. Then, uh, and you assign the PLC station, the register, and then we'll, uh, then the, uh, the, the sample uh, time. And then we'll start graphing whatever data is on, on this here. But right now I'm going to to delete that one. Okay. So right now I have everything all set up. So now let's do the the connection. So to do that, and you're going to and I have a video how to to create the the very first connection to to the operate panel. So pretty much you have you need to have a, a, um, a serial port. And if you don't have a serial port on your computer, you can get a, a USB to serial port converter. Then you have this uh, cable. 
that to connect to the serial port to the um, serial port of your operate panel just connect it the the voltage on your operate panel is 24 volts of direct uh, current so we have it connected to our computer oh, also you need to check which um, com port uh, uh, which com port number you, you are connecting to your PC. So for that, just go to device manager, go to ports, and the com number will be com number four. Okay. So let's specify uh, com port number is com four. Okay. And let's go to download. Okay, so right now we are we are just uh, downloaded the, the program to our operate panel. And if you notice, there's no uh, there. Remember that we have a couple of uh, labels and stuff uh, here in bars, so they're not being shown because we haven't done a connection to to our PLC. So to do that, you need this uh, other uh, cable which is a, um, a standard USB, uh, standard, sorry, a standard serial cable, uh, the 9 pin that connects to your operate panel. So I'm going to disconnect this one, connect this cable. And then there's the mini DIN, which is a 9 pin uh, uh, serial port that connects to your PLC. Which is this one. Yeah. Okay. So we are we just made the, the connection and the the other elements they they just uh, appear. So let's start by navigating the the screens. So we said that if we press the alarm key, which is this one, we are going to be sent to screen uh, number four. While that was the help screen. So let's just press it, and then we jump to that screen. So if we want to go back to the first screen, to the to, to the home screen, we just press uh, the escape escape key. Okay. If we press the right key, we jump to the very first uh, to the second screen, which is the inputs. And once again, we go go back, or to go, or we can go to the home screen just by pressing escape. Okay. So now uh, we have the value, the, the current value of D0, which is this one. And this one is being is showing the, the, the bar, depending on the value of D0. So let's change it uh, D0, this one. Let's change it to a different number. Let's change it to, to 500. So for that, we just press set. The uh, register number is going to be highlighted and we and then we set the value and then we press enter so, and then we notice that the bar went halfway so remember that we have a you know, in here we have a, a label that was depending on the dependent of the value of this zero so if the value is this zero of this zero is equals to to zero and let's change that to zero. Oh, in the is right here. So if the value is zero, then the label is going to be shown value zero. Let's change it to one. The value is one. Change it to two. And the value is two. So this is just a, a quick overview of what you can do in OP20 to to create uh, uh, the, the program of your operate uh, panel. So it has pretty basic uh, stuff. It's not as uh, complex uh, or you don't have a lot of uh, different feature as for instance, the, the ones, the, the different um, uh, HMI panels like the Delta DOB the DOPB uh, models that you can 
dual programming you can uh, see the value of of, um, of the, the of the physical inputs of your plc but it's pretty basic but you can uh, do a lot of uh, basics and useful stuff for for your, your user so this is just a, a quick overview so in the future video, videos i'm going to show you how to do a different um, how to navigate to for, from one screen to to another and how to work work with the different um, uh, trends and, and alarms uh, on on your, on your panel so that that will be for future for future uh, videos but uh, thank you so much for for watching remember that you can subscribe to to my channel you can recommend these videos to your friends especially if they're if they're interesting on on this kind of um, um devices plc hmi you can share the, these videos with 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 them thank you so much for watching